Today I'm going to show you the basic knots in needle tatting and for that you're going to need a tatting needle like this one and some yarn that goes with it. But let's do this! The first thing you're going to do is you're going to find some yarn that goes with your needle. I have observed that it's it's pretty easy to just look at the yarn and then you look at the needle like this side by side and then just gonna judge if the needle and the yarn is of similar thickness. In normal tatting with a shuttle, we're gonna uh, we usually tat the knots around the yarn. In needle tatting, we're gonna tat the <laughs> the knots onto the needle instead, and then we're gonna pull them onto the thread. Therefore, they need to be somewhat similar. To begin, thread your needle and put the tail thread out to the right and then grab the needle with your right hand. Then take the ball of yarn and the rest of the yarn and put it off to the left. And you can now grab the, <laughs> the yarn that is attached to the ball with your left hand. I put my pinky around this to grab it more tightly. The first knot you're gonna make you're gonna make just like we do with the shuttle. You're gonna make first an, a knot that turns one way and then a knot that is turned the other way. So now I'm gonna show you the actual knot. Take your your finger and put it on top of the yarn and pull up this kind of loop. Then you take your needle and you put it underneath and go up under the loop you just made. Put it as tightly towards the work you just made, if you have any on the needle. The other knot you're gonna make by going underneath the thread and then bend your finger. Then you can grab the, the <laughs> loop from the back. Now you have two loops on the hook and then you have a, a loop going across. Um, it's gonna look a little bit either like a seat of pants or like a pie sign. Just gonna show you a couple more times. So from the top and then one from the bottom. From from <laughs> underneath, sorry. So from the top again and then from underneath. And it's gonna look like this. To make a pico you're just gonna do the same thing but make it not close to the knot you just made. Give it a little bit of distance. When you make the first knot you can adjust it and then when you make the second knot it's locked in place. So now we have a pico and it's not gonna move anywhere. Just a little bit of little loop of thread. Now I'd like to make a ring. If I just pull the needle through I'm gonna get a chain. I would like to show you how to make a ring though. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my pinky into the loop here. You can put whatever you want in there. You just need to catch the loop before it is pulled all the way through. So I'm just gonna pull my needle through. And all of the tail thread. I, I took a lot of tail thread for this. <laughs> then I'm gonna put my needle through the loop that I now have on my pinky. Because I have the end of the tail thread pulled through. If your tail thread is still showing, pull it through first. Otherwise you're gonna get a, a weird knot and you're not gonna be able to continue working. Be conscious of not making knots at any point other than the tatting knots. Okay, so you can pull this tight to form a ring. However, we're not really made a real ring. We've, we've made a mock ring. Which just means that we've made a chain and then we've uh, pulled it together to form a ring. Therefore it's really easy to open again and we really don't want that because it doesn't make for good jewelry or clothing. <laughs> it also makes it pretty easy to undo work, so it has pros and cons. I'm just gonna make a normal knot here to stabilize the ring. We're gonna make a chain now and we're gonna do that the exact same way. I'm gonna make the knots. The same way. And you're gonna make the picos the same way. And be conscious not to put your, your needle through the yarn like I just did. 
It's really annoying that there is a point on these because it makes it a little bit harder not to go through the, the yarn, especially when working with bigger yarn like this. To make the chain, as I said, just pull all the way through. Um, make sure not to knot the end down here. The loop wants to knot and you need to, uh, to be conscious of it. And again here you want to make a knot in order to, to have those uh, tatting knots not slide up and down the thread. Especially when you continue working. But a normal knot will somewhat secure it. To join, you're just gonna put the needle through the pico you want to join to. Then you're gonna catch a loop. And then you can continue working and when we close this ring it's gonna be joined. If you want to the the ring, the the loop you pulled up could be the first part of a knot, then you're gonna have an even count on your needle. Um, perhaps I should have done this because I'm working in the bigger yarn, but because I normally use much smaller yarn for tatting, it's it's usually not a problem because you can't see that on the smaller yarn, but on this it's actually pr quite uh, visible and I should have just uh, counted it as the first stitch of a knot. It's it's easier to work on the middle of the needle rather than the end. Okay, and now I just uh, join this to a ring again. And now you can see the join and and also how visible it actually is in this big yarn. And then again, just not the end, and then you've made a ring. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.